What is good, Keezy gang, bro? We are back, bro. We're back. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm a little late on the on the uploads today. They should have been out a little earlier, but I had things to do, so we're putting them out now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Eminem, y'all. And a lot of a lot of people in the last video was telling me do Eminem bully, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do Eminem bully, and y'all let me know some information in the comments also. So uh, apparently this is a dis another diss track on Benzino and I believe Ja. Ja Rule, you know what I'm saying? Ja Rule is a, a great rapper, and in, in my in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? He's a great rapper. Uh, so we're going to see what Eminem has to say about these guys, you feel me? I'm really excited for this, bro. As y'all know, we've been knocking down the Eminem, just basically the whole disses, you know what I'm saying? I've been getting into a lot of the disses, y'all, and I've been loving it, bro. So we're going to continue it, man. And y'all, apparently, y'all been liking it, too. So, so let's get to it, y'all, you know what I'm saying? We got it. Eminem, bully. Let's get it. To be the strangler of this punk ass little pussy's puny neck. Oh my God. It's my right to insist that he acknowledge my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. That's what he says to himself as. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, I, I, I assume this is actually towards Benzino. You know what I'm saying? And from what I have been seeing, yes, he does acknowledge his existence, but he, he just, he displays it in, in really disrespect. He does. He does. You know what I'm saying? And then he likes to fall back and be like, oh, oh, I actually love Eminem. Like, shut your dumb ass. Oh, you was just talking your shit, bro. Keep talking your shit, bro. I would respect it more if you kept talking your shit, bro. No cap. You know what I'm saying? This is fire. Also, the rhythm of this, bro. Peep the rhythm, bro. It's just like... It's real, it's real smooth, man. It's, it's it's up and down. Like, I like it. I like it. We're going to run it back a little bit. Anger, though I'd like to be the strength of this punk-ass little pussy's puny neck. Oh, my God. It's my right to insist that he acknowledge my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. Okay. That's what he says to himself as he uses magazines to trash me as he sits with both his feet up at his desk. Smokes a bag of his weed and starts imagining things And he just can't see that he's manically depressed And in his jealousy and envy It just whirls him in a frenzy As he turns on MTV and sees my face He don't exist in this world So he just twists and he twirls Spirals and spins till he hurls himself into rage Yo, yo, this rhythm is crazy, y'all you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, oh my, like, it's, it's so to the point, you know what I'm saying? And you don't really get a lot where Eminem is actually, uh, making it easy and real direct for you to understand what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you really gotta replay it four, five, six times, you know what I'm saying? Maybe 20 times, just to really peep what he's saying, gang, you know what I mean? But, uh, I like how this one is real, it's, it's right, it's real direct, it's right there. Nothing is meant to, like, confuse you or nothing like that. He's kind of being, like, real on point. Whoever, and honestly, I'm pretty sure Ja Rule and Benzino knew exactly who he was talking about. <laughs> no cap. He don't exist in this world, so he just twists and he twirls, spirals and spins till he hurls himself into rage. And it's destroying him slowly, cause he does not even know me, even though he sees me everywhere he goes. Okay. So he just tortures himself, he has no fortune and wealth, so he extorts someone else to get his dough. And now. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh, is he talking about. Oh my god, is he talking. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't even want to say it, bro. But y'all was saying some real greasy stuff in the comments in, a, in in the last video. I don't want to say who he's talking about extortion, extorting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it has something to do with siblings. Is all I'm gonna say. He has no fortune and wealth, so he extorts someone else to get his dough. Okay. And now he's acting like a bully, so he tries to push and pull me, but he knows that he can't fool me, so he's mad. He has no choice but to scream and raise his voice up at me Cause it annoys him to see that I ain't scared You ain't no motherfucking bully Now I ain't bowing to no motherfucking bully I won't allow it, ain't gonna cower to no bully I'll be damned if I don't stand up to a bully Fight like a man and throw my hands up to a bully Oh my god, y'all, y'all, y'all He's really 
giving it to him right now, bro. I hope everyone, you know what? You know what? I hope everyone has the same idea right now. I hope everyone has the same idea right now, bro. Honestly, bro. <laughs> he's talking to this man, bro. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, bro. He's talking to these niggas. Like, what? I'm a bully. I'll be damned if I don't stand up to a bully. bully. Fight like a man. Trying to make no more enemies, no more unfortunately There's so many other motherfuckers that just are They just keep hounding at me now that I'm down with it Now y'all see, now y'all see the, the flow, bro Yo, he's wildin', bro, he's wildin', bro I'm not even gonna lie, bro Like he's really, he's the rhythm is crazy on this I cannot capture y'all Now I'm not trying to make no more enemies, no more unfortunately There's so many other motherfuckers that just are They just keep hounding at me now that I'm down with 50 Suddenly now I got beef with this faggot job <laughs> But his ass is such a Yeah, Yo, yo, why we start laughing at the same time, bro? Because it's crazy, it's crazy how as soon as, like, like just becoming associated with someone else, bro, can bring you so much beef and problems that you just, that you just didn't even deserve. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, you heard what he said, bro? He said, now I'm down with 50, now suddenly I got beef with this F word Ja. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> That happens in everyday life, bro. Y'all ever had that high school? This is some high school shit. Y'all ever had some high school, middle school, middle school friend tell you like, oh, I don't like that person. Why are you friends with them? Oh, and then they have a problem with you trying to tell you to stop being friends with them because they don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever been around that child? That, like, that's a childish ass middle school game. You know what I'm saying? And if grown men was doing this, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Especially over business. Like, rap, rap and stuff like that is business, bro. That's business, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're friends with this man, rock with this man because of business, bro, like, nigga, stay out of it, bro. What are you talking about, bro? You beef with freaking Eminem for because he fucks with 50. <laughs> yeah, I swear, that's high school shit. More enemies, no more, unfortunately. There's so many other motherfuckers that just are. They just keep hounding at me now that I'm down with 50. Suddenly now I got beef with this faggot job. No cap. But his ass is such a puppet. Or could shove his whole hand up it and just make him say what he wants him to say. But shook as Irv on a string and Irv so nervous that he says anything to this man to keep him at bay. Oh my so God, now. bro. Hold up. Yo, didn't Shook, Shook Knight, all right? Didn't Shook Knight have something to do with Dre? Shook Knight has something to do with Dre, man. God damn, bro. Mmm. Cause I know about Shug, bro. Shug had something to do with Dre, bro. I knew they was cool, bro. But something happened to where they was not cool no more, bro. Y'all have to tell me about that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely let me know about that in the comments because I want to know more about that. Um, God damn. Um, that's actually crazy how he brought Shug up. I ain't never heard Eminem bring Shug up. Hey. But Shug has herb on a string. You know, you know the you know the reputation of Shug, bro. Everybody be saying this and this and this and that about Shug, bro. Why they don't bring Shug up, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I, I don't feel like anyone's really talked about Shug like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like the most you hear about him now was like through his own like podcast, but it's never like diss and Shug. Never heard anyone diss Shug, personally. Say. But Shook has Irv on a string and Irv so nervous that he says anything to this man to keep him at bay. So now Ja thinks that he soaks off and murder ain't the big bad wolf and they go off and puff and blow our label down. Oh my but God. But building's made out of bricks so you ain't taking out shit and all you just did a song with Bobby Brown. <laughs> so now you try to pull the race card and it backfires in your face hard cause you know we don't play that black and white shit. <laughs> Plus the stylist you fucked when you was ecstasied up Was just a man who's dressed up as a <laughs> Oh my fucking god, bro Have y'all noticed, bro? Have y'all noticed, bro? Everyone who really plays that race card Like, and really plays that race card, bro Is either, like, really Really just miserable <laughs> They're really miserable people 
and they're and they're not happy, and they always have something extra to say, and they turn into Karens and Kevins, like you know what I'm saying? Like no cap, y'all. Have it like, like look at Benzino, bro. Benzino likes to bring that shit up a lot, bro. And the nigga, I feel like he's I feel like he's clinically depressed, which is exactly what freaking Eminem said, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like bring up anyone who really brings up the race car, like oh. White people this, white people this, black people that, black people that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, they're really like, like, I just don't feel like they're happy with life. None of them are ever happy with life, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Please tell me if I'm wrong. Black and white shit. Plus the style that you fuck when you was ecstasy up. Was just a man who's dressed up as a white bitch. You ain't no motherfucking hoolie. Now I ain't bowing to no motherfucking hoolie. I won't allow it, ain't gonna cower to no hoolie. Like a man and throw my hands up to a booty. You must be taking too much ease. <laughs> you must be taking too much ease. He's talking about Benzino right there. <laughs> Y'all are cooked, bro. Y'all are actually cooked, bro. Like, I don't get why people play this game over and over and over again, bro. People be playing this game, bro. I got to see what the hell Ja Rule said. Why he bring Ja in here? <laughs> Did Ja... Oh, it probably was because of the whole thing with M. Um, with, uh, the whole thing with 50. All right, that's probably why Ja was here. I think I touched base on that already. <laughs> nah, this is crazy, bro. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Now what bothers me the most about hip hop is we so close to picking up where we left off with Big and Pac. Okay. We just lost Jam as a J. Big L got blasted away. Plus we lost Bob Snake Tongue and Freaky Tie. It's like a never ending cycle that just seems to come full circle. Everybody's gotta be so fucking hard. That's oh my god, bro. R. I. P. is R. I. P. Bro, cause there was some real legends that he just said right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, there was real legends right here on the stream right now, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Big was probably one of my favorite people, favorite artists on his list, bro. I've really listened to a lot of Big, especially growing up. Um, y'all. So about this thing right here, bro. A lot of people like to say that, like, like, um, the streets this, the streets that. These people be killing this and killing that and killing this and killing that. But think about what M just said right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like a never ender cycle. So many people are lost, and this is what anything. Any gang related shit, anything that y'all, any just street beef, period, or even even in other places too, bro. Don't gotta be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, people get lost behind certain things, bro, and that shit is not gonna end just because someone said this or someone said that or someone decided to to stop this or whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit's not gonna end, gang. You feel what I'm saying? Like, too many people are lost, bro. It's so never in a circle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got fifty, got freaking. 50, 50 got shot, bro. Like, 50 got shot nine times, right, gang? Like, what the fuck? Like, I wasn't stopping shit, bro. I wasn't telling nobody to chill, bro. Bro, I sound like, like, 50 sound like this now. Like, you ever heard a 50 song before he got shot? 50 sounded regular as hell, bro. Now 50 got the, you know, he be trying to rap, like, like he can't open his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy, bro. This shit, the street shit is deep, bro. It's not, it's more than just, it's more than just this and that, or this just happened and that just happened. It's whole deeper shit that happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? Goes back, no cap. So that was a fire bar. I like how he just put that out right there. RB to those legends. Now what bothers me the most about hip hop is we so close to picking up where we left off with Big and Pac. We just lost Jam as a J. Big L got blasted away. Plus we lost Bob Snake Tongue and Freaky Tie. It's okay. like a never ending cycle that just seems to come full circle Everybody's gotta be so fucking hard And I'm not excluding myself cause I've been stupid as well I've been known to lose it when someone says something smart But as we grow as men we learn no to let you go But then again there's only so much bullshit we can really stand We all got reps to uphold when someone steps on our toes It's no exception it goes for every man but if I really gave a fuck about y'all like he claims he does he'd Wake him up and make his boy get off them drugs But he just keeps feeding him pills So if that E doesn't kill him Someone from G-Unit will And I ain't buzzed Dog, I'm talking to you straight If the situation has 
<laughs> like y'all see that though? Like he's not even like like that's not even that's not even like he's not even saying he's going to do nothing. He's not even saying that he like he's not sending no threats, gang. You feel what I'm saying? Like the man is literally like that's just the street stuff, bro. If the drugs don't kill him, if you were so much of his man's, bro, tell him to get off them drugs, bro. Because if the drugs don't kill him, bro, then the street shit will end up killing him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because of of the past, bro. Shit don't happen, bro. Like I mean, shit don't go away, bro. What happens in the past, bro, is is, is still there, bro. You didn't made the decisions. You know what I'm saying, gang? Like real rap. Once a felon, bro, you are gonna be a felon your whole life, gang. To the law, you a felon your whole life, gang. You know what I'm saying? Because of that one bad decision. So you think of you was in this street shit, really doing some street shit, bro, that now that you 30 and this and that and nobody ain't on that no more, nobody going to touch you, you crazy, bro. You crazy, bro. Niggas is going to touch you, bro. Niggas is petty, bro. They not on that, bro. Real rap. Killing someone from G-Unit, Will, and I ain't bust. Dog, I'm talking to you straight if the situation escalates any worse. We're going to lose another soldier to this game. And if I get killed for this rap, I got a million in cash that says I will get you back in Haley's name. You ain't no motherfucking boy. Now I ain't bowing to oh no motherfucking God. boy. I won't allow it, ain't gonna cower to no boy. I'll be damned if I don't stand up to a boy. Fight like a man and throw my hands up to a boy. Crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, all right, y'all. Yo, that was Eminem Bully, bro. I like that, bro. He really kept it real with him, bro. He kept it real with Benzino and Job, bro. Honestly, that was fire, man. You know what I'm saying? When you can actually diss somebody in like a nice, like that, that's that's just a memorable song, bro. That's a song that I feel like like like, people will... That song ain't age. That song did not age at all. What was that? 10 years ago, so it was probably longer than 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? That song did not age at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know about Ja Rule's song or Benzino's song. No one even dropped their songs to react to. You know what I'm saying? So, like, obviously, they probably didn't age well at all. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yo, that was fire. That was some real nice, nice bars, bro. Nice meanings, man. This was this was smoke, bro. Keezy Gang, if y'all like this, bro, please let me know how y'all feel in the comments, bro. Y'all already know we do this every day. We don't miss a day at all, bro. Keezy Gang, we on our way up. 2024 is our year. Y'all stay safe. Enjoy y'all day. I'm out.